Now, the equations on the previous page are useful for trying to understand how we interpret A and B. But they're not necessarily useful when it comes to calculating A and B by hand. So here we've got two new equations for B and A. These two equations are actually equal to the ones on the, on the previous slide, but these will be much easier to, to implement when we're trying to compute A and B from a sample of data. So suppose we have a sample of locations, and at each location we know the moisture content, X, and the number of alder trees that grow at that location, Y. In this case, X is our independent variable, and it's going to have an impact on our dependent variable. So the moisture is going to have an impact on how many trees can grow there. Let's try to calculate the regression coefficient using this equation based on this sample of points. The first thing that we're going to do is just sum up the x's and the y's, because we see here that we're going to need the sum of x, so that's 300 based on our table, and the sum of y, which is 500. Based on the regression line, it's important that we can interpret what the equation is telling us. Essentially, what the regression line tells us is that for a one unit increase in moisture, so if x goes up by one unit, we expect to see 1.256, or we expect to see an increase of 1.256 alders in that area. So as moisture increases, alders increase at a rate of 1.256. Generally speaking, for a delta unit change in x, so delta could be 1 or delta could be 10, we expect to see a b times delta unit change in y. So if the moisture content increases by 10, we expect to see an increase of b times 10, 12.56 alders. Let's just assume for a moment that the regression equation, I'm going to give you a new regression equation, equals 2 minus 3x. How do we use this sentence here to interpret the relationship between x and y? In this case, we can see that a one unit change in x it will result in a minus 3 unit change in y or a 10 unit change in x, a 10 unit increase in x, will result in a 30 unit decrease in y.